Hi, good morning everyone. Let's get started with the next topic in this training session which is on user types in SAP. So in an SAP system there are different types of users depending on the activity which need to be performed. So they comprise of the dialogue user, the system user, the communication user, service user and the reference users. So let's get into the details of each of these user type in our subsequent section. So basically these are the types of users which is defined in SAP. So first thing dialogue user. Dialogue user is basically whenever we log into the system for a common general user, generic user is called the dialogue user. So let's get into the system and I'll show you how this to create this dialogue user. So we need a transaction called SU01 to log into the system. And once we are connected to the system, okay, so once we are connected to the system, we'll go to SU01 transaction and what we'll do is we will try to show you the different types of users which can be created in SAP system. So let me go to transaction code SU01 and let's try to create a user called, say for example, we will create a test user in this case. Okay, so I'll just click on the create button over there and I'll just provide the last name. Okay, so last name we'll use test names in this case. Okay, so I'm going to use a test name over here. Okay, rest of the fields are not mandatory but we can fill it whatever we feel like filling depending on the company requirement and language we are filling it. So basically it's up to the user to fill in what language information he requires or his it's required by the audit, it's required by the business, it's required for managing or as per the process whatever is required. So that information is, is created. Okay so this is basically the last one is about the communication. Then let's get into the logon data. Okay in the logon data the key thing that I wanted to show you guys is that user types. So in this screen, whatever we saw, the different user types, dialogue, system, communication data, reference, basically the logon is not possible and the service user. Okay, so these are the types of users which are available in an SAP system. We'll go through in detail in our subsequent slides about what all these users are. So let's get into first thing is dialogue user. Dialogue users are exactly one interactive use, user and individual system access, personal, personalized access, logon with SAP GUI is possible. This user is therefore interaction capable with the SAP GUI. Basically using SAP GUI you can log on to this particular user. And during a dialogue logon, the system checks whether the password has expired or is initial. If it is an initial password, it will ask you to change it. So that is the beauty about the dialogue user. Okay, so let's get into the next type of user. So in this case, what we have seen is user can log into the CP GUI, user need to change the default password. And let's get into the next user, which is basically the system user. A dialogue logon with a CP GUI is not possible for this user. System doesn't check whether the password has expired or is initial. And only an administrator user can change the password. Due to lack of interaction, no request for a change of password occurs. Multiple logons are permissible. It is used to communicate within the system. For example, internal RFCs, background processing, external RFC, for example, ALE, workflow, TMS, CUA, internal RFC call. So basically system users is pretty common and it is used mainly where we don't have to change the password or we cannot the change change the password for say any of the RFC based application for any of the internal say for example TMS the transport management system we cannot change them so frequently and workflows where we have the complex workflows we cannot change the passwords frequently depending on the audit policy so we need to raise the exceptions for them and in these circumstances we use something called system user next is the communication user User type for dialogue free communication between systems. Dialogue logon with SAP GUI is not possible. Whether the system checks for 
expired or initial password depending on the logon method that is interactive or not interactive. Due to lack of interaction, no request for the change of password occurs and basically we used this type of user mainly for CUA, TMS, workflow, ALE. So we need to make a call that under which user to use. Service user, service user is user type that is a dialogue user is available to a larger anonymous group of users assigned only very restrictive authorization for this user type. Logon with SAP GUI is possible. User therefore is interaction capable with SAP GUI. During a logon, the system doesn't check whether the password has expired or is initial. Only the user administrator can change the password. Multiple logons are possible. Service users are used, for example, for anonymous system access to an ITS service. After an individual authentication, an anonymous session begins. Reference user, basically, there is no dialogue logon is possible. Reference users are used for providing extra privileges for the user who is going on vacation or leave to existing users. User type for general non-person related users that allow the assignment of additional identical authorization. Basically for things like internet users created using transaction SU01. You cannot log on to the system with the reference user. You should be very cautious when creating reference users. Okay, so that is what pretty much I wanted to cover the user types and when they should be used. Thanks for joining and have a nice day. Bye-bye.